Welcome back, everybody. Today, I want to go over why not to buy an AK. So this is the closest I have to a Wasser 10 or one Wasser 10 63. This is a Romanian Mod 63. So it's, it's close to representation of what most people going out there buying the economy, but yet foreign AKs would be looking for. So say you do buy the AK. Well, you'll get the rifle, probably a magazine, maybe two. Occasionally a sling, or if you get an earlier Wasser 1063, some of them came with bayonets and whatnot. But let's just say you buy a Wasser 1063 right now. You get your rifle, magazine, it's probably going to be one foreign, maybe one or two uh, US made magazines, just to say that they gave you the compliance parts. So maybe you, maybe you do decide to buy an AK. Well, you get your rifle, yet you end up liking it. You like how it shoots at the range. So you're like, you know what? I need more magazines. So you know what's the first thing you do? You buy a bunch of steel mags because they're cheap and they work. But then you end up with a bunch of steel mags. And they just keep adding up. And then you get your... Uh, get to the range, you're like, man, this, this range bag or this chest rig or whatever you're using, it's freaking heavy. How can I cut down that, that extra weight? So then you start looking around for maybe some lighter options, some more modern options. Then you realize, hmm, the Russians switched to primarily bake lights. Maybe I should buy a couple of those. So you buy one just to, just to try it out. And you're like, man, this is significantly lighter than a steel mag. I'm gonna buy a couple more. And then you realize, man, these things are sweet. So then you're going balls deep in Bakelite. And before you know it, your five, $600 Wasser ended up costing you all this. Each of these 35, 40 bucks a pop adds up. But by then it is too late. It's just too late. All right, so after you realize you got all these Bakelite mags, and then you're like, man, these are kind of cool to collect because each one's a little different, and then you can't ever decide which one you want to use, which one you want to display in pictures. All right, let's get these little bit out of here. So after that, you start realizing, oh man, this one AK, it's a, it's a Romanian AK, so what do I need? A Romanian bayonet. I need a Romanian bayonet to go with my Romanian AK, and then, you just open another can of worms. Oh, so, I find a bunch of good deals on different bayonets for AKs that I probably don't even have or I probably would ever buy. But you know what? They were a good price. And let's just be honest. By the time you get to this point, this is usually an unorganized mess. So what do you do? You buy magazine pouches. Just a bunch of magazine pouches. Just in, a, in an attempt to order or to organize this shit. It's just a black hole, man. And then he started thinking, maybe the stock Romanian sling that came with your Romanian rifle wasn't good. So then he started looking at other options. You find a, a single hook Russian sling. You like it. But then you find an RPK sling, and you buy it anyways. It just It's endless. So these are some reasons not to buy an AK. Because you end up buying a bunch of crap to go with this five six hundred dollar rifle. But let's say you decide, or you you don't realize how much you're spending, or don't or you decide not to get out of the AKs or contemplate your your spending. And you buy a sidearm to go with it, a Makarov, a Tokarov, anything like that, and that and that just starts another rabbit hole into collecting those magazines, the holsters, the different variations, different countries. And that's where the, another thing, the, the AK gets you, you get one, if you get, if you, if you, if you get hooked, there's always another country version you can buy. All right. So now that you're experienced, you've gone to the range multiple times with your fixed stock AKM, you decide I need something a little more compact. 
So other than your Makarov, you end up getting an Undervolder to go with your fixed stock. Why? Because they're cool. And then you realize these things suck ass to shoot. They're uncomfortable, but you know what? I'm gonna pretend it isn't because it is just cool. And then after you get that underfolder, you realize, man, both my AKs are Romanian. Should I get a different version? No, Romanian RPK. It's different, yet the same. Another rabbit hole. All right, and by the time you get to this point, some would consider you balls deep in the hobby. So then you start asking yourself, should I do something a little different? And you, and you decide that the 545 Master Race is for you. And you decide to get a 74. And then you realize, man, I need a lot of mags. Because this round is awesome. And so after you realize you need mags, you realize, man, I got a Bulgarian rifle. It's the 104 FR. Sweet rifle. Oh, I'm going to get us some more Bulgarian 545 mags. You end up getting a freaking shit rainbow because they can't match anything over there. Then you got your plum handguard. So you like, maybe, maybe I should just try and find some plum magazines. So you, you go to Facebook or, or AK files or something. And you know what? You'll find some plum mags. You put that in there. Now you're like, yeah, those look great. But then you find fake light. And then it's all over. Find some Russian bake lights. Sprinkle that on. And then you realize, wait, Russians weren't the only ones to make bake lights for 545? You find East German. Everyone loves a little bit of East German bake light. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, I got, a, I got a significant amount of mags. And then you just keep finding different versions. Oh, the Russians made black ones. Let me get some of those black ones. And then you're like, maybe I need something more than 30 rounders. And there aren't drums available. So let me just look around what I can find. Your searches come up with like Circle 10, 45 round magazines. And you're like, man, those, those are sweet, but... The Russians made Bakelite, so I gotta have one of those, if not more. The Russians made True Black RPK mags. I gotta have a couple of those as well. And even better, they made Plum. Everyone loves Plum. Mm -hmm. You know what? You realize, man, I got more mags. So I need more pouches. My East German pouch for my East German mags. Bulgarian pouches for all the Bulgarian mags. Got some Russian ones for Russian mags. It's endless. And then you realize these 545 mags take stripper clips. Where the heck can I get some of those? So you, you search all over the internet and you finally score a bunch. They're pretty sweet. And that's why you should not get an AK. It's a black hole. You spend a lot of money. It's just endless. There's more and more and more. As I said, but wait, there's more. And then after you realize I you get all this stuff, you're like, you know what? Maybe I should get another rifle and properly make it tactical. cool. And then you start searching what the Russians use. You're like, what is this? Zenit? Zenico? Why not? That's all you got to tell yourself. Why not? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun with it. Um, I'll be working on a video why to buy an AK. Be a little bit more on the serious note, I think. But thanks for watching, guys.